a very warm welcome to one and all. This is Kapow Gaming, I am Bergerac, and this is my review of Blur on the PS3. That's Blur the game, not the band. Now, Blur is a combat racing game which was released on the PS3, on the Xbox 360 and on the PC. It came out in 2010 and casting my mind back, my memory is not great anyway, but we had some really, really good games out that year um, and they were quite similar, quite similar to Blur. Uh, we also had Need for, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit and also a game called Split Seconds. Um, and they're both similar in that they both use weapons or um, traps or using the environment around them uh, to enhance the, the racing game. And both Need for Speed and uh, Split Seconds are fantastic games. I played them both and they, they really are good games. Um, but the question is, does Blur reach the heady heights of both Need for Speed and Hot Pursuit? Let's jump into the passenger seat, do your lipstick in the mirror, fasten your seatbelt, and let's find out. Blur was developed by uh, Bizarre Creations, and that was the team that brought us Project Gotham Racing. I don't know if you played it, but I played Project Gotham on the uh, Xbox quite a bit. It, it was a really good game. Um, it was quite different to a Grand Theft Auto and games like that because it had a very arcadey feel and this also is very, very arcadey. So if you're looking for a realistic racer, I can assure you this is not the one for you to buy. Um, but the upside is that the, its arcade style lends, it, lends itself really well to the combat situations that you find yourself in. You have a variety of weapons during the races um, and yeah, it's absolutely hectic. It's crazy. It's absolutely, it goes, oh, it, it really is quite satisfying when you get a good weapon, you fire it off and you hit the person in front, you're gaining places all the time. The game moves really, really quickly. There's not really much lag in it at all. Um, apart from in the multiplayer, but I will come to that in just a short while. Uh, now the game is split up into different levels for the multiplayer, sorry, for the uh, single player. And it's quite tough. The AI is pretty clever. Um, it obviously, you know, it, it does the, the, the normal thing of it gets all the best weapons when you don't want it to, but that's gaming at the end of the day. Um, once you progress through the levels, there is an end boss on each and every of the different stages that you attempt. And in order to compete against the boss, you have to complete different objectives. And if those objectives are not met, then you don't get to win the final boss's car. And all the final cars in the game tend to be really useful, um, not only in the single player, but also you can transfer them across to the multiplayer as well. Now, to compare this game to Need for Speed and Split Second, you can do that. But to be honest with you, I think this is actually more like a Mario Kart game than anything else. If you like Mario Kart, but don't really like the kind of cartoony graphics and wanted to deal with real cars, then this is the game for you. 
Um, the actual cars in it, I mean, it, it, I know that it came out in 2010, but some of them still hold up today. You've got Audi R8s, you've got uh, Chevy Camaros, you've got nice Megans like this one. Um, you've got some really, really cool motors. So if you are into your cars, then this will be right up your street. Back to the Mario uh, Kart similarities. As you can see, I've got this, uh, this red shunt, which is the equivalent of a red shell, and you could fire that off and it will hunt down the person in front, obviously, because I'm leading, um, there's no one in front of me. But that's really, really good fun. If you're at the back of the pack and you get one of those red shunts, you can fire it off and get some places back. The actual level design is really, really good. The tracks uh, have some really cool locations, like the one that I've been playing, which is in Barcelona, but there's also ones in Hackney, um, there's some fantastic kind of off-road tracks where you have to use 4x4s. Four um, there's explosions and chaos all over the place. It's, it, it's an absolutely crazy game, but that's what makes it so much fun. Um, apart from the, the nine one-player levels, you've also got, of course, a multiplayer. Um, and this, in my opinion, is where all the, the, the real fun is to be had. Um, there's still quite a few people playing it, so don't worry that the, that the servers have shut down or anything like that. Um, there's still plenty of people on this game, so um, you're not going to be stuck for trying to find uh, games on the server. The actual controls are really smooth. Again, it is very arcadey, so do be prepared for that, and the, the actual tracks lend itself to that as well. Um, the cars are split between kind of grippy cars and drifting cars. To be honest, the drifting takes a lot of practice. I mean, if you're a bit of a pro and you can nail the drifting, you can absolutely hammer this game in no time at all and be top dog on the multiplayer. But it does take a lot of practice to deal with the, the real drifty cars. Um, so the easier option is the grippy cars. Um, but if you can drift, um, the satisfaction you can get from that is brilliant if you're taking every corner sideways it's it's absolutely amazing um, apart from actually obviously winning the race what helps is actually generating fans and you can win fans by firing off your weapons um, and doing little tricks as well um, and as you can see here I've just gone through a, uh, a fan checkpoint so I'm just going to do a drift to get some fans and I've completed that one alright and that's really where you get a lot of the points in this game is by generating fans. So if you can, there's another one here. There we go. It's a long bolt, and it wasn't that long because there were so many people in front of me. But uh, never mind. See, I failed that one unfortunately. I missed out on picking up some fans. The more fans you get, um, you get to access better cars. You've also got um, a little fan stage here where you have to go through the hoops, um, which, if the road is clear, is relatively straightforward. Whoa. Oh, come on, come on, go, go, go. <sighs> but if there's people around you, then it can be quite difficult. You are also under time constraints with going through the hoops, which, because I crashed, doesn't help but fantastic I've got some fans there 227 fans and a boost let's go um, ranking up um, you can get to maximum rank of 25 in the single player and it's 50 in the multiplayer 25 rank in the single player is actually not that much so you'll probably find that you'll get to rank 25 quite early doors in the single player uh, but to get to rank 50 in the multiplayer is a bit more of a challenge the, the other option you've got in this game is you've got split screen local play. Unfortunately, with the split screen local play, you lose the rear view mirror. Um, there's a bit of a, degra a degradation in the uh, graphics as well. Um, I mean, it, it, it's fine, but it's probably the weakest part of the game, to be honest, uh, against the strongest part, which is the multiplayer. And I have to say, if you love your work, your family and your friends, do not play this game because it is so addictive. You will not be able to put this thing down. I ha I will warn you, it's very, very addictive, especially if you like this kind of game. Um, you will be spending a lot of time on it. And 
you can also pick it off off eBay or from a, uh, a second-hand uh, version from game or one of your other local retailers which are available um, then for the money I have to say you cannot go wrong with this it's an absolute beauty of the game um, and you will spend many an enjoyable hour trying to get more fans beating the opposition hammering multiplayer um, and generally having a bit of a laugh this is arcade racing at its very best and apart from a personal favourite of mine which is Mario Kart on the Nintendo 64 I don't think you're going to get a better version than this it really is fantastic fun there we go there you have it that's my review of Blur on the PS3 grab a copy now and I will see you online